Know your limitations. It's very important that you know yourself. And sometimes the most important thing that you can know is what you're not capable of and what you suck at. And if you're willing to accept that, then you're able to figure out the things that you could be good at, you know? Like for me, not good at organization. You know, obviously, 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 okay? Obviously, not good at organization. You know, organization's a woman thing. Like most women are pretty good at organizing stuff. Now, I can definitely consolidate, but it doesn't last for very long. Because if I organize anything, within three days, it's back to the way that it was. Sometimes it's even worse, okay? And, uh, I think it's especially hard, you know, because you live in a society that demands that you do it their way. And I was thinking about being super late for church this morning. I was trying to go to the earlier service. And I set my alarm for the earlier service and I actually woke up about 10 minutes prior to my alarm going off and I still didn't fucking go. So obviously, it doesn't much matter all these accommodations that I make to try to change myself. I keep staying the same. Thank you, Dodge. We love you. And that's why I, I put up that, uh, that Bible verse from uh, Romans uh, chapter 7, was it verse 15? Where, where Paul is saying that he can't do the things that he wishes to do. He does the exact opposite. And it's like the harder that you fight it, the more inclined you are to stay exactly the same. And then it's even more frustrating because, you know, you tried. You tried to do all these things and they didn't work. So you just feel like even more and more of a failure. And of course, you know, society doesn't give you any grace whatsoever. It just hurls insults at you for being late. Now, luckily, like people in my church don't do this. parents have always gotten on to me about it. <laughs> now I work at this job where like pretty much everybody is late all the time. And what's funny is that there are people, you know, that they'll start working at my restaurant and uh, they'll be real good. They'll show up on time like that first week, but then they'll realize that nobody's protocol whatsoever and then they'll, they'll start showing up 15 minutes late. Everybody's on CP time. That's why I say everybody's black. And <laughs> that's not offensive. Come on, come on. Stop being a pussy. CP time just means that your mind is, is wandering. It, mean, it means that you think a lot. Okay, if you're not on time, it's because like your mind is in a, a lot of different places. And so the kinds of people that are on time you know, these non-divergent, boring-ass, plebeian sheep that think that being on time means that you're a good person. I mean, I get it. It, it inconveniences other people, and I understand that. That's why I'm trying to work on it, you know? But it's just really, really hard because that's not how my brain is. My brain is all over the damn place. And so if my brain is all over the damn place, like, why the fuck would I show up on time? Why would I be a punctual person? But that's the thing, you have to know your limitations. You have to know yourself. You have to understand yourself. That's the only way that you can work on yourself. And so like, I know that I'm flawed. I know that I'm screwed up. I know that, you know, there's shit that I still need to work on. And I think that I've worked on a lot. 
I've been to therapy. I've read self-help books. I've, I've, I've gone to AA meetings, okay? I've quit a lot of things that were bad for me. And I stayed away from them successfully. But, you know, I'm, I'm willing to admit a lot of things that are wrong with me. And because of that, there are a lot more things that are right with me. But, you know, people are very uh, unforgiving. Isn't that good that God's forgiving? Isn't that good that our salvation comes from God and not this shit world? Don't expect people, places, and things to ever understand your faults. Don't expect people, places, and things to ever get over the fact that you're different. Okay? They're going to keep trying to force you to be something that you're not. I'm not really festive at all, but we're having this holiday party today. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a Christmas party. Okay, it's, it's not a Hanukkah party. It's definitely not a Kwanzaa party, okay? Even though most of the people are black, but you know, they don't celebrate Kwanzaa either because they're not dumb. But um, I don't care if you celebrate Kwanzaa, celebrate whatever the fuck you want, honey. I don't care, I don't care. But I'm pretty sure the Kwanzaa's a load of bullshit, but whatever, whatever. You know, it's, it's like pagans celebrate Christmas. Secular people celebrate Christmas. It really doesn't matter. If an atheist says Merry Christmas, then saying Merry Christmas really doesn't mean deadly squat, okay? You can say Happy Holidays without, you know, being Jewish, okay? <laughs> it's so funny the stuff that offends people. And it's always those people that think that it's everybody else that gets offended, you know? <laughs> oh, shit. Just spend five minutes with me and we will prove that you're a candy ass. <laughs> I wish that I could force everybody in the world to spend time with me. Just five minutes. That's all you need. I'm the litmus test. <laughs> Yeah, so we're doing this uh, secret Santa. And, uh, you know those gay socks that I told you all about? I, I showed you, actually. These rainbow socks that my mom got me. I don't want to wear them because they're just too gay. I'm just over the rainbow. <laughs> in, a, in a different context, okay? I'm over the rainbow. I don't hate gay people. Don't think that that's what I'm saying. Okay. But. I'll show y'all. These socks. Okay, they're a little too gay for me. Okay. But, uh. Yeah. It's funny that the person that they reminded me of. Like, she, she's the only one that would wear them. And guess who I got for my secret Santa? So I got her this, too. Because she's a very sparkly person. And not just because she's gay. But, um, yeah. This as well. The thing is, she's a really good person. In spite of her liberal views, I think that she's a really good person. I'm really excited to see your reaction. But yeah. Um, I think I've I think I've talked enough saying the same thing over and over again. But you know, we'll probably shoot a few more videos. And by a few, I mean like a hundred, hundred, maybe a thousand more, about the same.